welcome students we've been given an interesting integral so let me present that to you so we are asked to integrate integral dx over px squared plus qx positive r such that p not equal to 0 and q squared negative 4 pr is given to be equal to 0 now this is a quadratic equation and uh, this is nothing but the discriminant is given to be equal to 0. The coefficient of x squared is not equal to 0. So this is the condition. Now what I wish to do is foremost I would like to take p out. So this is dx over p is taken out so that would give me x squared positive q over p times x positive r over p. Now what I will do is I will rewrite the given condition. This is what has been given. So from here I can say q squared is equal to 4 times pr. I want to express every quantity that you see here with regard to r being an independent variable. So this can be, in other words, what I'm trying to say is I will have to have r on the left side and with everything brought to the right side. So r is going to be equal to q squared over 4 times p. So take the value of r and substitute it over here. So this is equal to integral. Now I've got this p. I can actually take the p out and rewrite this as integral dx over x squared positive q over p times x positive q squared over 4 times p. Now you have a p there so place that. Now this can be further rewritten as 1 over p integral dx over x squared positive q over p times x positive q squared over 4 p squared. Because if you were to flip it, this is actually p over 1. So it will come to the denominator and this is what you will get. Now what I would like to do is, I would like to express this as a perfect square. How can I do that? I can do that in this following fashion. So this is 1 over p integral dx over, the first term is x. Now the last term should give me q squared over 2p squared. So what has to be placed here, which upon being squared would give me this, definitely q over 2 times p. When you square it, you get q squared divided by 4 times p squared. Fair enough. Since every sign is positive, a positive is sign is placed. Now, I need to get the second term. Second term is nothing but 2 times ab. So 2 times x times this quantity q over 2p is obviously going to give me this term. Fair enough, right? So we got that perfect square. Now what I wish to do is to make a straightforward substitution. Let x positive q over 2 times p be equal to some t. So I differentiate both sides. Only x is the variable. So I will get dx is equal to dt. So this is equal to 1 over p times integral. In place of dx, substitute dt. In place of this quantity, x positive q over 2p, substitute t. This has got power 2, place that. This can be rewritten as 1 over p times integral. t squared can be taken to the numerator with a negative sign there. Now you integrate this. This is straightforward. This is going to give me t raised to the power of negative 2 positive 1 divided by negative 2 positive 1 which is equal to 1 over p times t raised to the power of negative 1 divided by negative 1 which is equal to 1 over p. You push the t down. You get it a positive t with a in meaning its exponent would become positive but there is a negative sign there so place that now what is t t is nothing but this quantity substitute that quantity so that's going to be 1 negative 1 over p times x positive q over 2 times p right now you can take the LCM as 2p. Now if you were to take the LCM as 2p, this is going to be 2px positive q divided by 2 times p. This is multiplied with p. Now p and p can be cancelled. 
you can push this to the numerator that's going to be 2 with the negative sign divided by 2 times px positive q since this is an indefinite integral you have to place the arbitrary constancy so that is the final solution to this beautiful question thank you students please like share the video and subscribe until we meet again enjoy your day